I've had a couple of requests lately to show how you can write a JSON file to the hard drive. This requires the use of Node, so this will be another tutorial added to the Node.js playlist. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript, where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. To be notified about new tutorials, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. Also, check out the discount links to all my courses that I've included in the description of this tutorial. Node as a JavaScript engine allows you to do so much more than the JavaScript engine provided in a browser. There are certain restrictions for browsers. One of those tasks that Node allows is file input and output. This is accomplished through one of the default modules available in Node, the FS module. If you are new to Node, you may want to review the playlist, which I will link to in the description. In previous tutorials on JSON, which I will link to in the description as well, we would load a JSON file, we'd process a JSON file, we'd do all of those types of things. But what if you need to write a JSON file out? Let's do that with Node. Now here I have an object, very simple object. But let's say we want to convert that to JSON and we want to write it out to a file on the hard drive. Now here's where I'm going to write that file out in this exercise folder. Inside of there, I have a JSON folder. I'm going to write out the file to that JSON folder. So that's what we're going to try to do here. Now, the first thing that is required in order to do this with Node is we need to load the FS module. The FS module includes classes, methods, and events to work with file input and output. Actually stands for file system. So let's take uh, let's take care of that first. And we'll do that with require. And we want to load fs. So we now have that available and that is actually what we're going to use to write out the file to the hard drive. There is a method available in the fs module write file and that's what we're going to use. But before we access that, we need to make sure that we convert this to JSON. And so let's take care of that next. So I'm going to assign that to JSON data variable. And what we're going to do is use JSON object stringify method. The stringify method will convert this to text so that we then can write that out. And what do I want to convert to text? Well, I want to convert the object OBJ. And so that's going to convert it to text, JSON text, and going to store it in this variable. And then we'll use that to write out to the file. All right, so we have everything set up. We have the FS module, and we've converted this object to JSON text. So now we're ready to go ahead and write that out. And like I said, the FS module contains a method write file, and that's what we're going to use. So to access that, we do FS dot write file. And now the first parameter we want to put here is the name of the file. And I need to put that inside of quotes. So let me go ahead and put the path. This is the JSON folder I mentioned I want to put it in, and then sample dot JSON. That's what we'll call it. Now, the second parameter is the data that we want to write out. And here is our data. Not the object. It needs to be converted to text. If we tried to write this out, it would write object object inside of square brackets or something like that, just to indicate that it's an object. Basically, what it would do, it would convert it to a string, and that's what it would happen. Well, here is what we want to write out because we've converted this object to JSON text, and that's what we want to write out. So we put JSON data there. And then finally, we can have a callback function. We can enter a callback function here, and that's important in case we get an error. 
So I'm just going to do a simple callback function that will accept an error parameter just in case we get an error. And let's just do an if statement here. If there is an error, then we'll simply log to the console what that error is, something like this. All right, so that's what's required in order to write that out. Let's go ahead and see how that works for us. Let me save this. And now we need to run this file from Node. So I'm going to bring up my terminal. And basically, I can type, let me clear this. Basically, I can type Node and App. And it will recognize that that's a JavaScript file and go ahead and run that JavaScript code. So I'm going to go ahead and press return there and it run for us. So let's see if we got that file. I'm going to jump to my finder and sure enough here in the JSON folder we now have a file sample.json. If I click on that you can see how that has been converted to JSON text and it's been written out. This is now a JSON file which we could do other things with. So that's the process of doing this with Node. The important points are requiring the FS module, stringifying the object so that it becomes JSON text, and then using the write file method of the FS module in order to write that out. Now, before we're done here, please hit the like button. And remember, I've provided discount links to all my courses in the description section. If you would like to become a patron of this channel, there are additional benefits to certain levels. You can follow a link in the description for that. You can also contribute by visiting my website. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. Also click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website allthingsjavascript.com for a complete list of tutorials and courses. Thanks for watching.